Sometimes you walk through life alone, wondering if anyone understands what you are going through, hoping someone will listen and offer a word to make your day. The Church of God of Prophecy offers unconditional love and support, regardless of what you are going through. Visit cogop.ca for a location near you. The Church of God of Prophecy, developing authentic disciples of Christ. On the Let's Talk television program, we share solutions to real-life problems with real people, showing how faith guides everyone through the storms of life. We talk about tough issues that affect all generations. Our conversations help you learn, grow, and lead. Help us continue with this great work by partnering with us today. Call 905-625-1278, extension 233, or visit letstalkca.org. We look forward to your partnership with us to change lives. Let's Talk, revealing the heart of Christ through engaging media conversations. Good evening and welcome to another segment of Let's Talk. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with us this Sunday evening. And I'd like to uh, just encourage you to enjoy the show that we have for you this evening. Vibrant and empowering are two words that captures the essence of my guest this evening. Since her solo debut in 2001, this Canadian gospel treasure has faithfully maintained her calling bringing inspirational messages of God's love with her authoritative and commanding voice uplifting everyone who will listen. She is an accomplished Christian R&B recording artist who in 2011 delivered fans and music lovers to the release of her highly anticipated sophomore album, Great Things. With singles like Only You, Lord, she does not disappoint music lovers who enjoy gospel music and vocal performance. Can you guess who my guess is? She said her music's purpose is to let people know that God is always with them in the midst of a song being sung and that he's able to accomplish their heart's desire. It is with, he's with us, God is with us through thick and thin and he wants and is ready to do great and powerful things in our lives. Can you guess who it is? She recently released a new single, Goodness of God. Can you guess who it is? I'm sure that you are familiar with her music. My guest this evening is none other than Canadian gospel artist Lonnie Hardy. Welcome back to Let's Talk. Hello, hello, hello. Now I can barely hear you. You can barely hear me? I can faintly. Okay, there we go. Now it's back. Okay, good. So I want to say welcome back to Let's Talk. The last time you were here was in November of 2016. It's good to have you back. Yeah, long time, long time. I'm glad to be back. It's an honor. <laughs> right. And I know that life has changed, a lot of change especially, has changed, especially within the last two years. How are you and your sons doing during this very difficult time? Wow. So, uh, yes, there's been a lot of adjusting. Um, as a single parent, yes, with the two boys and when it comes to schooling, um, that was a huge adjustment back in March of 2020. Um, right. Really huge. And it actually... Um, started to affect me mentally um, because it was just everything is mommy, 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 mommy. And I'm working full time as well as in addition to that, doing ministry work. And so um, just having to literally be a homeschool teacher with the boys and then doing my own work and ministry work, it was a lot. It was, it was a lot. I was starting to get my migraines. Um, Tylenol wasn't working, Advil wasn't working, Aleve wasn't working, and I had to get something prescribed um, wow. to deal with those migraines. And I think it was just having to deal with all of that on my own, uh, be in a closed 
space for so long because I'm not an introvert. I would say that I'm an extrovert, but there are times when I can be an introvert. And COVID did not um, show, <laughs> didn't do me well when it came right. to having to be, when having to be on lockdown. So, right. um, but to God, glory, you know, I'm still here and we've overcome, we've conquered the, you know, the school system has been able to train the teacher. I no longer have to hear my name 24 yeah. seven. And so we, we got through it. We got through it. Um, you know, millions of others that I have, have family that are close by that I could always go go to when I need a break and you know even to send the children when I need a break um thank God for Deacon and Mother Larman thank you <laughs> that is good that is good <laughs> right it's it, it's good to have the grandparents close by isn't it Absolutely. Absolutely. God knows. I don't know what I would have done without them. Even the uncles too, because my brothers are not too far off and they've been a tremendous help as well. So it's really been good. It's been good. It's been good. Very good. <laughs> no, I haven't been disappointed about the fact that COVID has hindered you from traveling and ministering. How has that impacted you? Yeah, that's been tough. <laughs> that's been tough too because um you know invitations came and having to say no and you know wait till next year and now here we are in 2021 and I mean we're better off but still there's you know there's some precautions when it comes to traveling for sure so you know, it's it's been rough, but you know, I'm not in full time ministry due because of the country that we're in. You know, we're not in the states. We're not like the states where you know gospel artists here in Canada right. um, can necessarily do full time ministry the way that we want to. So you know, right. we have jobs, and you know, I give God glory for that because if I had been a full time minister, I think I can count on one hand the amount of full time ministers, gospel ministers that we actually have. And right. um, if I had been one of those, you know, I don't know how how I'd survive being a single mother. I got bills to pay. I got children that need things. I'm a soccer mom as well. Um, so right. I've got soccer fees to take care of and all of that. Very, very busy. So God right. knows what's best. God sees all things. He really is um, the author and the finisher of our faith. And he really, he really is the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He knows all things. He knows the in-between. As much as I would love to be a full-time um, gospel minister, he knows what's best for me when. You know, so, you know, I, I, I thank God. I have to, I have to count my blessings. Um, I am fully vaccinated, though, because look here. I, I can't be locked up in Canada forever, sir. <laughs> I gotta be able to travel take the vaccine because I need to be able to get on a plane at some point right, and go about right. my business, whether that's taking a vacation or you know ministry. And I already you know now have been receiving some ministry requests to travel. So we'll see we'll see what happens. We'll see we'll see how it goes. Well, for those of us who minister, you're correct. We have to take the vaccine because for the gospel's sake, we have to travel. So we don't have a choice where that's concerned. But I know that you're also a worship, your worshiper and your worship leader. COVID has impacted the way that we do ministry. We have all had to make adjustments. I remember preaching to empty buildings, just looking on the camera. What adjustments have you had to make as a uh, worship leader? Yeah, so at Rayma, I'm a worship leader at Rayma Christian Ministries on Downview Park right. here in Toronto. And right. um, we had to, you know, it was, it was definitely a learning curve, definitely. Right. And, um, but the thing with me is that I believe in ministering 
the same way that I would, whether it's one person in front of me or thousands. And so mm -hmm. that really wasn't the adjustment for me. It was just um, the uh, process in which we would get the ministry out to the people. And so right. um, our pastor decided that, you know, we would um, pre-record the praise and worship as well. He did that with the sermons. And so right. we, we would record um, two days a week. Um, right. So on a Tuesday, uh, we would get together, I'd get the team together, and it would be like eight songs that we would record. And then right. on a Thursday, we would record the other four. So we would record in a week um, 12 songs so that the month is taken care of, at least three weeks worth of worship is taken care of for our broadcast. And so that right. was different um, because there's no longer any rehearsals. Um, I had to, you know, let them, I, what I would call, give them homework to do. So I would send songs out to the team and I would let the team know that I need you to send me a recording of yourselves and let me hear what it is that you have. And, you know, it, it has to be on point because there really isn't no time to rehearse because of the COVID regulations and so on. We're not trying to meet up too often. So right. really when we have to record the songs, we run through the song once and record, run through the song once and record. So any preparation that needs to take place prior to that where I'm correcting notes and so on, that's what their homework that they would have to send to me. And I would correct them through WhatsApp and uh, send any feedback that I have and would expect that by the time we have to record the song, you know the music. So in a given day, I'm listening to, if there's three praise team members and we have 12 songs that I need them to do homework on, I'm listening to, you know, three twelves is what, 36? Like I'm listening yes. to songs 36 times. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's a lot right there. In addition to whatever other work that I have to do. I'm a, I'm a busy girl, I'm a busy girl. But I believe in excellence. My pastor taught me that. That's just, that's just what I know. And so I do whatever it takes to make that happen. Even when it came down to, you know, um, before we get the broad ready, there is a reviewing process, you know, where putting the video together, the pastors have to review the broadcast to make sure everything is ready. I have to review the audio. I have to review the video to make sure, uh, you know, all angles are taken care of and stuff. So, you know, when I post the videos, people see, you know, the end product, but there's a whole lot of work that happens prior to that. And uh, yeah, to God be the glory that we have the strength to do it. I, I'm, yeah. I'm honored and I'm, it's a pleasure to serve in that capacity. I'm grateful. Yes. Uh, I, I love to say it's a lot more work that we have to put into ministry during this time. Uh, but but it's, wor it's well yes, worth it. I would agree. Right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we return, we're going to be talking about your new single, Goodness of God. Please stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. On the Let's Talk television program, we share solutions to real life problems with real people, showing how faith guides everyone through the storms of life. We talk about tough issues that affect all generations. Our conversations help you learn, grow, and lead. Help us continue with this great work by partnering with us today. Call 905-625-1278, extension 233, or visit letstalkca.org. We look forward to your partnership with us to change lives. Let's Talk, revealing the heart of Christ through engaging media conversations. Sometimes you walk through life alone, wondering if anyone understands what you are going through, hoping someone will listen and offer a word to make your day. The Church of God of Prophecy offers unconditional love and support, regardless of what you are going through. Visit cogop.ca for a location near you. The Church of God of Prophecy, developing authentic disciples of Christ.
Welcome back to Let's Talk, and my guest is Canadian gospel artist Londa Larman, and we just played you a teaser of her new release, Goodness of God. And um, I hope that uh, you are going to be excited about getting this, this new release. So tell us a little bit about Goodness of God. How did this title come about? How did this come about? I was listening to Israel Houghton actually had just recorded, did a live recording in his home with um, Israel a New Breed, his group. And um, right. one of his uh, singers actually posted on Instagram, goodness of God. And she had some right. lead and she posted it. And when I watched the clip of her singing the song, that song, I bawled, I bawled, I bawled because of the words of the song. And just as soon as I heard the words, I could reflect on in my own life, how good God has been to me. And after I heard that, that version, I went to find the original, um, which is Bethel Music, Jennifer Johnson of Bethel Music. And I listened to her version. And again, I bawled, I bawled. That whole Sunday, I was just bawling. I would listen to it on repeat, on repeat. And I right. said, you know, something said in my spirit, you know, you need to record it. But I wanted to record it uh, in Lon Alarming style because the song right. is very much an anthem. Um, it's known by a lot of people and a lot of different artists have recorded it because it's just blessed them so much. And so those that have recorded, they've pretty much stuck to um, the status quo of how the song goes pretty much. And I said, well, if I'm going to release it, I don't want to be just another artist that's released the song the same way. I need to put my own stamp on it. And so I talked to Corey Butler, who is the producer of the song. I said, I want to record it, and I need you to make it my own. I need you to add a reprise to it as well. And he wrote the reprise, and he made it you know, his own until I was satisfied with it. I made him go back to the drawing board a few times um, until I was happy and satisfied with the music, the sound, because I wanted it the classic mm -hmm. version of the song. Um, but I'm very happy with it. And, you know, I just needed to, I felt like I needed to give my own tribute to the Lord. This was my tribute to the Lord for right. all he's done for because I really look back over my life, sir, um, the, from, from, you know, done the street, Church of God of Prophecy days, all the way up to where I am now. And I can truly say that I have experienced the goodness of God. And this is what you've done, especially after, you know, going through um, being married and now, you know, divorced and being a single mother i wanted that also to be um something that was depicted not necessarily as a negative but to show that you know you may fall down but you can get back up and in the midst of it all god is still right. good and i right. want people to see that god has been good to myself and my children and i think that i've done it. and i've heard um feedback from others you know single parents and so on that you know really appreciate appreciated me doing that to show um, how transparent I was and to see how well the boys are doing um, in spite of the situation. You know, God doesn't leave us. He doesn't forsake us. And he's still in the blessing business. And he's definitely been doing that for us. Very good. Now, apart from the obvious title of the song, Goodness of God, what are some things you're hoping that uh, folks who listen to this, who buy the city will get from it? Well, it's really just for them to um, do some introspection and really reflect on the fact that despite, you know, especially in this time, when I released right. it, you know, the, a lot of people said the song is so timely um, because, right. you know, you're looking at COVID and what we're going through and so many are isolated. Not a lot of people are handling the isolation well. There's a lot of people right. going through mental issues. 
There's a lot of people going through domestic violence at home, whether it's an adult or even children. And, you know, I just thought for a second, let's just take a look at the good that, you know, this because it still could be worse. No matter how bad the situation is, it could still be worse. And God is still good in the good times and in the bad times. He is still God. And I I think that we see so much um, negativity that's been happening, you know, not that we should turn a blind eye to it, but I think that in the midst of it, we always have to go back to um, who is God. And he's not good just because of the, the things that he does for us, but he's good because that's his nature. That's his character. And he can yes. be nothing else but that. that yes. he, can't, he can't be anything else. It's just who he is. And so That's we true. need to just thank him for that. We need to yeah. bless him for that, for being good. He knows no other, no other way to be. Like there, there's just no debate about it. And so I, 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 I want people to get that. I want people to, you know, even if you've lost somebody during COVID, right. because I've lost family members as well. Um, right. through COVID. I've lost friends through COVID. And, you know, in spite of all that, millions may not have made it, but I'm still one of the ones who's still here. And so right. while I'm in the land of the living, I have to say, thank you, Lord God, you've been good. And so I want people to, uh, as they listen to words, when you, when you hear words like, um, I love you, Lord, you know, your, your mercy never fails me. Uh, in all my days, I've been held in your hand. You hold my world in your I've always been held in your hands. Despite the path that I've chosen, despite the journey that I'm on, I've always been held in your hands. You truly are Emmanuel, God with us. You know, you've always been there holding me. Even when I may not have felt like you were there holding me, you were. And so I acknowledge that. I recognize that. So I want people to to really listen to the words and then you know, the melody of the song is just so um, catchy where, you know, you get, it's it's something that you start singing it and you'll be singing it all day. So I, I'm right. grateful for that. Very good. Now your previous single was Great God. Do you think there's a mm-hmm. correlation or is there some complementing between the two releases? Great God and your goodness, the good, goodness of God. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, because I'm a worship leader too, you know, um, my right. job is to declare his goodness, declare his greatness. And so it's right. just automatic um, for me to write songs like that. You know, even uh, before that, songs like My Exceeding Joy and, right. um, you know, all You Are God Alone, although I didn't write that, but I covered that. You know, songs like those, that's you know, if anybody asks me, what do I want to be remembered um, by when I leave this earth, is that you remember that I'm a, a lover of God. I am a lover of God. I'm a lover of right. everything that he represents. And so, you know, uh, I, I'll, I'll never have an issue singing about him, singing about his characteristics, singing about the things that he's done, because he's just too great. He's just yes. too great. When you see the sun in the sky, when you watch the sunset, you have to look and say, my God, how great thou art indeed. When you look right. at the, you know, you go to Jamaica and look at the beautiful ocean, you go to the beach. I mean, it wasn't just some boom that happened. Our God created that. And that's yes. a beautiful thing. You have to, you have to sing about that. My God, how great thou art. You know, there's, there's yes. nothing compares to that. Yes. Now, I, I want to talk about the last time you're here, we talked about your acting career, private oh, in the pews. Is there anything in the future in your acting career? <laughs> I mean, not that God has made me aware of yet, <laughs> but I would love for that. To, I would love for that to resume, Jesus. You know, please. I would love that because I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a wonderful time doing it. So, yeah, I would I would love for that to happen again. But I guess Good. it's kind of uh, difficult right now due to the, the uh, situation. 
Of course, of course. But I'm, I'm hoping that we're moving forward now where later on we'll be able to do some of the things we used to do before. Now, I yeah. see that you recorded an official video for the single. What was that like, recording that video? I love the video. What was that like? Amazing. <laughs> Oh, man, sir. It was amazing. It was everything that I wanted it to be. You know, when God gives you a vision for something and you step out on faith, actually do it and then see your vision or the vision that he gave you come to fruition the way that right. it's supposed to. I'm telling you, it's the greatest feeling in the world um, because I've seen, you know, videos come out and I, I've been blessed by them. They've been wonderful, but I said, God, I need this this video because of it, the fact that it's speaking about you and your goodness. I need people to see that in the video, from the production of the video to the way that the vocals sound, um, what's depicted in the video. I need them to see that. I need this to be kingdom. I need, right. I need secular artists to watch this and be like, wow, honestly. Right. And so from, you know, from my attire um, to how we set up ourselves in the studio to, you know, having my children in there, even the change of outfits, I was like, listen, it has to be on point. I don't want anything looking mediocre. I just don't, I don't settle like that. I refuse. I believe that it's, if it's not going to be excellent, then I'm just not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. Yes. And uh, I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. We were there for, at the studio for about, um, I, I want to say it was like a four or five hour day. And it right. was a pleasant day. There was no drama. I was dealing with professional musicians who just did what I needed them to do. No holy right. back chat chatter, you know, that sometimes artists have to deal with. Uh, my singers were on point. And, you know, the person that did the video, uh, Dengi of Forward Visuals, he did an amazing, amazing job. And he was willing to um, listen to me and give me everything that I needed until I was satisfied. And, you know, even having my children there, they didn't give me no problems. They did exactly what I needed them to do. And they look beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Everything. I love Very it. Good. Very good. But I can tell you, this has been a blessing. And I just want our viewers to know how can they get a copy of the single? And how can we, how can they book you for a concert or uh, whatever, the ministry that you do? How, how can they do that? How can they reach you? How can they get a sing, one of these singles? So, as you know, CDs are out of stock. Right. You know, CDs are no longer available. They're not even making vehicles with CD players anymore, which is right. such a shame. Like, I'm so disappointed with that because for our older generation that still have CD players, you know, it's so sad for them. However, this is the way of the world now. And so all of my music you can get on any digital platform. So iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify. All you need to do is type in my name, Londa Larman, and listen. Get all the music that you see. All the music that you see, including goodness of God, go get it. Okay? And when it comes to uh, the video, go to my YouTube channel. It's on the screen, I believe, for you. YouTube.com slash Londa Larman. Subscribe so that any videos that I put out, you're going to get an alert that will tell you I've posted a new video. And I have like over 200 videos there for you to be blessed with. So you are going to be blessed, especially with the Good of God video. And when you want to book me, you can either uh, uh, DM me in my social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. All handles are Londa Larman. And you can also email me at Londa at LondaLarman.com. And I will be so happy to receive a request, and I will be more than well, uh, willing to go and minister at your 
uh, event or church. Right. Well, Londa, it's been a pleasure having you. I want to let people know that you and I came from the faith, same faith tradition you mentioned, Deacon Lorman, that's yeah. a deacon of the Church of the Prophecy, and your mom. So we're so proud of you, of your accomplishments. We didn't get to talk about the awards, the awards that you have received, the nominations. But God can be to bless you and, and your two sons. And it was a pleasure having you with us again. Looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much, sir, for having me. It's a pleasure being here. And God bless everyone. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Well, folks, that's all the time that we have for this evening. I would like to encourage you to check out Londa Larman's music. You will not be disappointed. Uh, she has a passion for worship and she has a passion for God. And I want to remind you, his goodness is always chasing you. You may not see it, but his goodness is always chasing you. For those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior, remember, he's always uh, chasing you. He loves you and he yearns to have a relationship with you. If you just call on him, you will do that. We'd like to encourage you, those of you who watch us on YouTube, we'd like for you to subscribe. We'd like for you to hit the like button and the subscribe button. For those of you on Facebook, we'd like for you to send us a message. Uh, you can also like on Facebook and you can just send us a shout out to let us know how this program has blessed you. We'd like to also remind you that we need your prayers and we also need your financial support. So please remember to support the program. God bless you. That's all the time that we have for this evening. We'll see you again next Sunday evening. Let's keep talking. God bless. On the Let's Talk television program, we share solutions to real life problems with real people, showing how faith guides everyone through the storms of life. We talk about tough issues that affect all generations. Our conversations help you learn, grow, and lead. Help us continue with this great work by partnering with us today. Call 905-625-1278, extension 233, or visit letstalkca.org. We look forward to your partnership with us to change lives. Let's Talk, revealing the heart of Christ through engaging media conversations. Sometimes you walk through life alone, wondering if anyone understands what you are going through hoping someone will listen and offer a word to make your day. The Church of God of Prophecy offers unconditional love and support regardless of what you are going through. Visit cogop.ca for a location near you. The Church of God of Prophecy, developing authentic disciples of Christ.